Okay, hello everyone. Oh, that's a little loud. Um, my name is Paul Kreutzweiser, uh, Senior Product Manager with Skyjack. Um, here today with the uh, new model, SJ12. Uh, it's a 12-foot vertical mass self-propelled lift. Um, new for us, but uh, obviously, you know, uh, similar class in, in, of competitors that, uh, that we'll see, see today. Um, basic dimensions, uh, 30 inches wide, uh, 60 inches um, sorry, 54 inches uh, long. A step in height is only 18 inches. It's a real important feature that we paid a lot of attention to when we were going through the uh, design and, and development phase. Um, make sure that it's really easy to uh, get in, in and out of the platform as well as uh, driving around on the job site. And if you have to go through a doorway, um, you don't actually have to get off the, the machine. <clears throat> um, just, I guess, starting at the side of the machine here, um, you'll notice one of the big differences uh, on this machine that, uh, that we have over some of the other guys in the market. We actually go with a full-size tire. So this is a 12 by 4 inch um, tire. This is the same size that we use on our contact machine, so our, our 32 um, 19 scissor. Um, reason for that, commonality one, um, you know, fewer parts to stock. Uh, for our customers, but uh, one of the other real big benefits of doing that is, is the contact patch. So helping distribute the weight of the machine um, over a larger contact patch helps keep that local floor load rating uh, as low as possible for sensitive uh, job site applications. <clears throat> um, overall weight of the machine, uh, 1,720 pounds as it's equipped. Um, really no options that, uh, that increase the weight of the machine. Uh, the machine does come standard with a uh, traversing platform, and I'll, uh, I'll show that in a minute. Um, number of options available on the, on the machine, including some gate options. Uh, standard is a chain entrance, uh, as we see here. Um, this machine's equipped with, but we do have a half gate and full height gate um, option as well. One thing we've done with our gate options is we actually hinge it at about six inches out. Um, and that just helps create more area inside the platform. Um, so if you can imagine, opening and closing the door, you have a little bit more room just in case you have a, you know, a bit of a uh, size issue here. Um, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable for the operator. Traversing platform feature activated by a foot pedal here uh, inside the platform, uh, but you get a 20 inch uh, extension. Now you'll notice that it's a traversing platform, so not an extension deck. Um, one of the reasons why we went with this as opposed to having an extension that, again, just to keep that overall weight down as low as possible. Um, the machine is fully uh, drivable at full height with the extension deck out. Um, one of the other nice features we have that this, uh, this feature gives us is the service position. So there's an additional little latch at the front, which is uh, impossible to get at when you're actually in the machine. Uh, we also have a limit switch um, that does cut out your, your drive functions um, and your lift functions uh, when you're in the service position. But the service position gives you access to the what we call component tub. And this is, this is where you have access to 100% of your service uh, components. So we've got all the batteries, the power packs, your valving. Um, everything that you would need to service is fully accessible here. Doesn't matter if the machine's functioning or not. Um, you can get at it without having to, uh, you know, lift up the mass section and and uh, and undo the covers. So very service friendly from that point of view. Um, everything in here it is it is a small machine, so it's very uh, compact. We did our very best to try and, and numerous iterations throughout our design phase and development phase um, to try and make sure that all components are, um, are accessible without having to remove anything. So for example, the batteries can all come out uh, without having to undo or relocate anything else. Um, same thing with the, uh, your hydraulic hoses, your valves, everything like that is, uh, is fully accessible here. Um, we do use Skyjack's uh, standard color-coded numbered wiring system. So again, for serviceability, um, what that system is, is, is universal across our line since day one. So the 13 and 14 wires are always going to be orange and black, respectively, and they're always going to do lift and lower. 
doesn't matter if it's the SJ12, a 3219 scissor, an RT scissor, or a boom lift, those functions are gonna be the same for that wire on every single machine that we've made since day one. So uh, that helps with the learning curve of, uh, of the mechanics, makes troubleshooting a little bit easier as you don't have to rely on schematics um, quite as much to, <clears throat> um, to troubleshoot. You get the hang of it pretty quick and, and it, it sticks. Um, we went with a, uh, a power pack system on this, which is an all-in-one unit. It's a pressure balanced gear pump, 3.5 cc. Um, gives us all the power we need uh, uh, to get the performance. Uh, torque is equivalent to about 55% grade. Now, obviously, we don't recommend uh, trying to climb a wall with this thing, but uh, it is very important, even on firm level ground, if you have to get up and over, um, you know, a crack or a, a small step in the in the concrete, even big cords, extension cords, pieces of plywood, uh, you want that torque to be able to climb up and over even though you're not actually on a grade that's, uh, that's gonna be um, that severe. So your local, uh, local torque is, uh, or sorry, your local grade is, is um, gonna be really high in that respect, but we have the power to do it. Now one of the things that, that in order to make sure that this machine still operated safely, uh, we actually do have a secondary uh, tilt switch on this machine, uh, which will limit your uh, actual grade to 30%, which is what the, uh, the maximum recommended uh, drive grade is. And that tail switch will just simply cut out your forward drive if you're going up a hill. So again, a little bit of a safety feature there to, uh, to help make sure that even though it has the power, it's not being abused. <clears throat> All steel construction on the, uh, the service cover, on the platform as well. Um, we use very heavy duty uh, roller system. Um, it's actually the same, very similar type roller system that we use on our engine trays and our RT scissors. Uh, so really good life expectancy there. Very durable, uh, not gonna wear it with time. Uh, so it's proven for us uh, from that service point of view. The platform is all steel construction as well and fully modular. So it bolts on to the outside mass section um, all steel construction, standard uh, checker plate tread design for the, uh, for the platform deck, so a non-skid type um, surface. Uh, even the railings are 100% modular. You can actually unbolt all of these railings, collapse them down. Um, so again, just from parts point of view, uh, minimizes the space on shelves um, required. If you want to throw a railing set in the back of a pickup and do a, do a swap out on a job site, not a problem at all. You don't have a whole basket shaped uh, thing taking up a lot of air. Um, as far as the uh, the controls go, this box is uh, very familiar to the the Skyjack electric scissor family. Uh, all aluminum construction. It's a two piece design, uh, so you can just pop off the uh, the intersection and all the guts come out. Uh, full service access there. It's all the switches. Uh, the nice thing about the aluminum construction is for drywall applications or any kind of paint and stuff like that. Um, it is very easy to clean, and if you have to get down and dirty on it, take a grinder to it, you can do that too. So uh, very easy to uh, recondition, so to speak, in the, in the shop. Um, on the front of the unit, uh, we do have a zero inside turn radius, um, high steer angle. It's not quite 90. We don't quite need 90 because of the small uh, wheelbase and the geometry of this machine. Um, but a high steer angle. Uh, which helps us achieve the zero inside turn radius, and it's a 56 inch uh, outside turn radius. So very maneuverable machine with the compact dimensions. Um, we do have four uh, big uh, tie down points. Okay, this is uh, big enough to get a, a standard uh, chain hook in through, so you don't actually have to um, remove the hook from the chain when you're strapping these things down. Uh, these are also used as lifting lugs as well if you need to crane the machine onto a job site. Um, we have a bit of a fake step here, even though we're only 18 inches uh, platform height. Uh, we do have an, an opening here. This opening is big enough to actually remove the charger. So again, all your service components are 100% um, accessible on this machine. <clears throat> Just uh, lift the machine up here and
Uh, rear controls, um, base controls on the machine, um, recessed in um, to help protect them if you bang up against the wall or any kind of uh, obstacle. Uh, even the key switch is recessed in, so uh, everything's well protected there. This panel does pop out, and there's a cover on the inside, which uh, we've removed just for demonstration purposes, but uh, this is the electrical panel as well, so it pulls right out. You can service and troubleshoot the machine. Our fully analog uh, control system, which utilizes uh, relays, automotive style relays, um, very similar to all of the Skyjack electric scissors that we have. Um, so a very robust, reliable uh, control system. Um, we have the emergency lowering valve here. Just one pull, the valve is right attached to the cylinder um, in your free will valve and battery disconnect, 110 to the, the platform at the back as well. You'll notice on the mast section, it's a four section uh, inverted steel tube mast. Um, so similar to uh, some of the other designs in the industry, uh, great for um, helping protect the components on the inside from debris uh, and damage. Uh, we use a single lift cylinder and a series of chains to uh, actually, so you'll notice it's sequential, very smooth. Um, wear pads are L-shaped wear pads um, designed to uh, hold up to the life of the machine, um, but also very easy to replace in case they get damaged. Um, also very easy to, uh, to inspect. Um, on the back of the machine here, we have the small aircraft cable um, system. That, uh, this is actually our cable retract system for the machine. So what that does is it helps tie all the mass sections again as you're lowering so that you don't end up having a section get hung up on something and then all of a sudden drop um, because you're relying on gravity uh, to pull everything back down. This system keeps everything tied together and ensures smooth travel on the way back down. So again, operator comfort. Um, very easy to, uh, you know, to visually inspect these. And uh, there's adjustment points at the top if you need to tension it at all. Um, options we covered, uh, oh, I think that's it. As crane, yep, exactly. Um, we have a limit switch on the uh, top of the mast um, section, so as soon as you lift up and that switch engages, then you're into elevated drive mode, so the reduced drive speed. So it happens in a matter of uh, two, three inches, uh, about the same amount of travel that you need to deploy your pothole system. Um, the pothole system, uh, conventional, as you can see now that the machine's up, conventional drop-down type uh, pothole going the full length of the machine. Um, it folds up underneath. And you can forklift from the side. Um, there's no forklift pockets on this, this machine, but we've designed it so that you can fork from the side. Um, and there are uh, bars that rest about an eighth of an inch lower than the pothole, just in case uh, you end up messing with the pothole system at all. So a little bit added protection there. Okay, on the, on the drive system we use a, uh, it's actually the same hydraulic wheel motors that we use in our 3219 scissor lift, so our compact series. So again, commonality there, um, but it is a white hydraulics um, CE14 model hydraulic motor. Um, two wheel drive obviously in the front. And uh, the way we achieve the proportionality is we have a Hull Effect joystick in the, in the control box um, that sends a signal, proportional, fully proportional signal down to a motor controller um, inside the platform or inside the uh, base of the unit. And that's how we achieve the proportionality. So a little bit different than how we do things on the, on the standard SJ3 um, electric scissors. Um, we're basically replacing the proportional dump valve that we use on those systems with a motor controller, or as I call it, a dumb box. Just simply you know, controls the, the uh, motor output. 
tilt settings, three degrees forward back, one and a half side to side. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the little brother of the family. There is a, another model available which looks identical to this machine, simply has an extra mass section, and that is our SJ16. No, it's not. No. This control box, even though we have 95% um, common components in this control box with all of our other electric machines, the joystick is different because it is talking to that motor controller. And that's the only component that, uh, that is different. So you have a we have a 16 footer as well. Yeah, that yeah it has. List price on this unit, um, 2011 list pricing we just actually released. So off the top of my head, I want to say $15,380, I believe, um, <laughs> is the list price. But don't hold me to that. Comes in just a hair under the 3219, 3215s. Uh, one time to the platform is right at the back here. Uh, it's got great ability rated at 30%. Oh, on, well, the, for driving, well, the tilt sensor is three degrees forward back and one and a half side to side. The, um, we do have a couple covers, which uh, I'll pop off when we do the, the Q&As after, but the top cover does come off, gives you full access to your um, lift mechanism on the inside. Uh, you can replace the entire lift mechanism without having to take the mass off. Um, so again, serviceability, there's bolts underneath that you can actually, from the bottom up, um, undo those bolts to uh, loosen the lift cylinder. And there's a trunnion mount in the top that you can access from that top cover and pop everything right out. You can service the, the cylinder, the chains, if anything got damaged. Um, but again, our life cycle testing shows that uh, it's, it's going to last the life of the machine. So, yeah, true. Yeah, no problem. You got something. The uh, platform has a number of different increments that you can lock it into with the foot pedal just to help uh, give you a little bit more security when you're, you're at height so you're, while you're driving it's not rolling in and out so it does lock into a number of different positions. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So fully proportional drive and lift controls that, uh, that we talked about before.
You notice that operation is from the front of the unit, steers at the front of the unit. Um, so from an operator point of view, visibility are not obstructed by the mast at all. Any other questions?